As you can see, it snowed. It's had a snowstorm yesterday. Um, wasn't too bad actually. It's not too bad. But yeah, it did snow yesterday. Not really a lot if you really think about it. Continue northeast on Melrose Road. This is our first snow of the year. I'm sorry, this is loud. This is the first snow of the year. I don't know how the hell this fucking big ass car is gonna fit, but let's find out. Come on. Come on. Come on, we all got a driver's license, right? It's not that hard. Good. Alright. <laughs> Woo! So yeah. Amazon didn't really give us like a light route or whatever. Still, it's kind of like normal, like still a normal day uh, for us. But I know some other DSPs, they actually had it a little bit easier. Like some of them probably have like 60 stops or 100, something like that. Today, I had 170, but I did have a rescuer take 30 away from me. So uh, we're looking like 140. So I did the first 25 just now. That was our first hour. Uh, everything's pretty good. I, obviously, it's gonna be a little bit slower because to walk around these snows, uh, it's a little bit tricky. I don't, I don't really got boots on, so I just gotta be cautious. That's really it. I don't gotta really, you know, work too hard. I don't like how these, these streets are very narrow. Like, it is possible for another driver to go, but like some people, I don't know. Some people don't know how to how to really maneuver and actually drive around that's fine yeah it's actually not cold either i mean it is 30 degrees but it's not freezing i would say but it's nice when some driveways like these are fully shoveled Some of the beginnings I did, uh, they're not always all shovel like that, but you know, like this is great. But yeah, this is the very first note we got in the winter in Jersey. Uh, I know it was like, it's probably pretty, pretty bad somewhere else other in the, in the East Coast. Because originally last week, they were talking about there was gonna be a big heavy snowstorm for us. And it was like, well, we're gonna average by six to 10 inches of snow. But this is last week. But you know, you can't really confirm things unless it's like a day before. That's how I always do it. Or think about, I always think about the day before and not the day of. I mean, like a week before, where is it? Ah, it'll be very nice to see the numbers of the houses. I don't think it's this one in my left. I think it's so far back. But yeah, it's not, it ended up being like what, one, two inches? I mean, y'all can see from right here. I don't think that's eight. See, at eight, but what's the other number after that eight? Yep, 84, so just this one. But yeah, this area is actually really nice. I don't really deliver here that much, but it's crazy because every single time I do a video for you guys, it's always a route that I really don't do. Like the last video you guys saw was probably the Christmas one. I only had that area for that day and that's it i haven't got it since my normal route is really fucking annoying that's why i do videos on it because i have i have no time to do it i'll let you guys see the snow Ooh, I almost slipped. <laughs> I remember last year uh, when it snowed, I did bust my ass. <laughs> it wasn't bad, but like it sometimes it's like embarrassing because not like nobody saw me, but you know, like mostly every house get a ring camera. So after I delivered to that one house, I was like going down and there was like a hill. And yeah, I just slipped and bust my ass. I'm pretty sure they got the video of it. If you really think about it, we low-key kind of don't have no privacy because mostly every house has a ring camera. So sometimes you got to watch what you say. 
sometimes like you know what i mean like i don't know how to explain it it's just like it's just like you just feel like you got no privacy like sometimes you want to like you know jam out to your music and obviously if you're listening on your headphones then you know it sounds you know it sounds cool and everything it sounds fire but you know obviously in their point of view they don't hear the music so all they hear is you just like singing horribly <laughs> it's just bad but it's fine oh is that a real life snowman like hold on we probably gotta get a thumbnail with him it is a real life snowman oh that's so cool That is, <laughs> that's cool. I never actually made a snowman, ever. <laughs> that's cool. I think I did like this, what's that thing called, the, the angel thing? Where you like lay down and like you just flap your arms and legs. What is that? It's called angel something, right? Snow angel? I think it's snow angel. I think I only did that when I was a kid, but. Make a snowman? Not really. I wish I did though, but it's all good. It's all good. But that's cool. They made a real life snowman basically because other you see other snowmans here, but they're like what well, you buy at Walmart, whatever, like the plastic ones or the floatable ones, whatever. But that's really cool to see. That's really cool. But a lot of people have been waiting for snow here because they're like, man, winter is boring if there's no snow. Now for me, since I work outdoors, I was just praying and I'm like happy as hell like there's no snow the whole time like last year we didn't really have snow like that either like we had a little bit but it wasn't major and I was like it was a good year for me well for us drivers a good year because like, you know like we're delivering outside so it's like you know it's a little bit annoying <laughs> if it's a lot of snow and you gotta work while people are just sitting at home drinking hot cocoa or whatever well, we're out here literally busting our ass. When I mean, we're busting our ass. I don't mean like working hard. I mean literally slipping and falling. It's oh, funny. And plus, in my city, like if it snows bad, like let's say you shovel like your parking spot out, you have to put like a chair or, or a cone or something on that spot because everybody in every block does it. And if you don't do it, then somebody's gonna take your spot, and there's not gonna be no parking for you whatsoever because there's chairs and everything on that and if you remove those chairs and park your car there well you're probably gonna wake up with a flat tire son just saying because where i live it's not like nice like this but it's fine today's fine It's a cool little scenery. So I'm like in the woods. I mean, I've seen like past videos. I've been like in the woods area. This one's actually pretty good until it gets dark. So I'm trying to leave here as fast as I can because lately I've been doing full 10 hour shifts. And it's not because I'm dragging it or I'm being lazy. It's because like the, the normal run I'd be having I want to say it's really difficult, but it's really annoying and it's it's not fun at all. <laughs> like, usually I love to come into work, like I don't mind it because like right now this route is so good so far. Like it's peaceful. Like, I don't mind doing it, you know what I mean? But when it's a bad route, you just want the day to end, but the time goes so slow and you're like, uh, you feel like you're going slow and it's just, yeah, it's just not great. So some days I just don't want to become the work because of the route I have. So and there's nothing we could really do because you could tell your dispatcher, well, can I change the day? Or not change the day, can I change the route? And they'll be like, well, it's not really us to up, it's up to Amazon. They have like a system, where like every driver has their own thing. And uh, I don't know if that's true or not. I feel like it is true. I don't feel like they would lie to us. Especially my boss, I don't think he would lie to us. He's not that type of lie, but I don't know. It's cool though. It's cool though. I mean, like, what? You, at the end of the day, you gotta like work with the circumstances. Like, this one has a yellow tape on it. It's 
so I'm not gonna go down there. I got a yellow tape. I mean, obviously I could just duck and go there, but let's see. But it really depends on the Amazon phone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by that. The Amazon phone. Sorry. Uh, let's wait for this one car. It depends on the Amazon phone app because if you're like a little bit too far from the house, it won't let you continue. And it's so annoying. <laughs> Like right now oh actually can so i'm gonna leave it right here i'm not gonna go down there if it's blocked delivery is correct couldn't access well it is true i couldn't access to get down there and usually when customers put like yellow tape on that obviously for nobody to go down there like driving wise but i'm pretty sure like you know walking wise too and i'm not gonna go down there you know what i mean this is kind of like a main street, I think. Not really, but like kind of. All right, let's go. This USPS guy is behind me. Good luck. I mean, USPS Lucky, people, bro. Guys. Especially if like the house is like the envelopes. I mean, the mailbox is like out and not all the way to the house. They could just never get out the fucking little car that they got. I'm not going to, like a little car that they got. And it's, <laughs> I'd be seeing them, they'd be doing that. And I'd be like, oh my God. I'd be like, I wish I could do that. Where can I go to go down there? I keep going straight, actually. I actually don't know. Oh my god. I think here. We'll, we'll find a way. We'll, we'll actually go up these two stops, actually. Yeah. That's nice. Thanks. Uh, you. Come on, scan. Nope, nope. Yes, yes. Cool, we could move stop these. Uh, which one is which though? The sun is coming out. I mean, it's been out, but before I made this video, it was actually snowing. Not hard, but like, you know. I should have grabbed the video to do it there, but it's all good. But hopefully, this uh, sun melts a lot of this snow. I was like, yeah, it was cool to have it, but. I gotta go. I gotta go. Can't stay. I ain't trying to be falling every day. Nice. Yeah, but this is exactly how it is for us drivers to deliver during the snow. Obviously, this is not bad. This is aftermath of a snowstorm, quote unquote. But I work during a snowstorm, and when that happens, they try their best to, uh, have people help us like rescuers to get like more of our packages for us to go home early oh look another snowman i don't know if you can see because this thing is on super uh, super wide or whatever it's called super view i'll get closer not too close though that's cool oh wow there was the stairs right there that's fine got to group stop uh got to group stop it if you don't know the group stop is basically to well hence the name you gotta group another stop what the stop are you doing so for example the one i just did was one stop and it was gonna be like okay the next stop is the one in my right but instead i could just make them both into one it's pretty good I know a lot of drivers have been saying, no, don't do that. They add more stops to your route. Maybe they are, but never did that to me. I've been doing it for a long time. And the stops have remained the same for me. It never got, it never increased or anything like that. So, I don't know. Maybe it just got bad luck, bro. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But we do group stops all the time. And everything be good. All right. What about this guy? Is he going to go with me? Yep. All right. But yeah, I do want to finish. I mean, technically, I finish. When do I finish? Uh, what can I say? I finish. Technically, I could finish by six, or even a little bit before six. No, to be honest, six. I'm gonna say six. Now, that's if I keep going at this pace. 
and it's promising now but your your body starts to get tired a bit like when you're like three hours or four hours in oh look another snowman i really can't see it but it's actually not that good but <laughs> at least they they tried so what's over here there's how many oh i gotta take a left here Which house is it? This one all the way over here? It says three, yeah. Hip side. All right. Oh, it's right here. I don't know how long this video gonna be, but I'm just gonna let it roll until I finish this one tote. I like the long videos. I don't know if you guys like long videos, but when I watch videos like this, I'd be liking it long, not too short. But yeah, let me know in the future, like what type of videos y'all want. I'll do it for y'all. Trying to get back on this YouTube thing. I, I still gotta put this U uh, this video out that I had. I'll be delivering the dark. Just been lazy to capture it and save it on my phone. Whew. Oh, that's my phone. Yeah, I'm actually really liking this route. This route is really cool. If only I could get it every day, like, you know what I mean? Uh, I already know, like, tomorrow. I work tomorrow, but we'll see what I get tomorrow, because I just requested to work Mondays. Excuse me, Mondays now? So, who knows? Maybe I rescue them tomorrow. I usually now rescue Thursdays, but that could change, because before I used to only rescue Fridays, like, every Friday, even sometimes Friday and Sunday. But then peak season happened, and you know we keep it by, uh, we keep, you know, getting new drivers. When you get a new driver, you you can't really expect them to. I don't know. You can't really expect them to be fast. Oh, that's like a good name. You can't expect them to be fast at all. I mean, like nobody's gonna be fast the first few days at work in, the, you know, in here. It's fine. This one says 24. Oh, okay. I guess 24, 24. It's crazy because one says 24 and the other one says 247. Okay. No dogs are out at the beginning part of this route. Some dogs have been out. And uh, it's kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky to tell if like, one is friendly or not. But most of them just be barking a lot. Not really, you know, doing anything wrong. So that's fine. It just, it could get annoying a bit. I feel great. I don't feel tired. I don't feel like nothing. Like, I feel good. Something about when you get a new route or a good route that your body just feels good. I actually know this area. It's kind of, it's kind of different when the snow is around. Oh, there is a dog right there. What do I do? Is he friendly? Is he cool? Bye. Ooh, let's try not to fall. Nice. Shout out to that kid. He was actually holding the dog. I don't know if y'all could see. But he was holding the dog. You know, holding him. Not really holding him, but he had like his hand on, like to block him. So, shout out to that kid. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, you know, 
let me know what type of videos you guys want me to do uh in the future i guess um yeah and i'll do it for you guys but yep stay easy stay breezy and see you guys on the flip side let's go